Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to our channel. My name is Beck. I am a professional mindset coach and I have a background as a medical doctor. I liberate driven successful women from perfectionism, imposter syndrome and people pleasing so they can show up in their personal and professional lives in a way that they're proud. Finally expressing and asserting themselves to create the life they want, that they deserve. The life that more and more grit and hard work and sacrifice and determination can't create on its own. We need a change of direction because we've tried that. <laughs> oh, we have tried that. And it's not the recipe by itself to create the fulfillment and impact that they want. So if that sounds like you, if hard work and success is not your problem, but instead expressing yourself, living into yourself and creating fulfillment and really being proud of yourself, is more of a challenge then you're in the right place. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about this analogy that just smacked me in the face about what you have to give up to grow. And I think that this is something that holds so many of us back from growing into our lives from really living into our potential. And that's the unwillingness to give up what we have now in order to have something different. And goodness gracious, this is such a common dilemma in general for people in medicine. We know that what we've got is really, really good. We know that being a doctor and working in medicine or working in our specific hospital, our specialty, in research, in teaching, whatever it might be, we know that what we have is good. That's the case for probably everyone in medicine. Whatever flavor of medicine you're doing, it's good. It's really good if not great. But this level of good can stop us from making changes in our lives to get to great because we have to give up elements of good to trade up for great. And goodness gracious, that is really scary in that transition period where initially you give up the good, but the great hasn't yet arrived. You're still creating the great. There's a lag between giving up the good and getting the great. And that is so destabilizing and terrifying to the point that a lot of us don't get beyond the point of sacrificing the good to receive the great. And honestly, if you got to that place where you have tried to give up some of the good, you've gotten further than most people will because most of us are too scared to even consider trading out the good in the first place. Now, this is no shade. This is not a recommendation I'm making. There is no right or wrong, and I am not the person to dictate what is good versus what is great. But this is what people will directly tell me. But things are good, but I should just be happy. But I shouldn't complain. This is what I always wanted. Anybody would want this, etc., etc. All this language that suggests that we personally should just find fulfillment in what we have right now and we shouldn't want for more if things are good and we can do the coaching work to get you there if that's what you want but i want to create some safety and a bit of a path around if you're one of the people who want to trade up good for great so i want to start today with telling you about this analogy so I'm so proud of myself, my beautiful friends. I am currently traveling in Europe. I'm working here for the next couple of weeks, coaching, building my course, preparing for conferences. Yay, <laughs> everything's so amazing. And then uh, after another five or so weeks here, we're going to America for another two to three weeks. And throughout this whole, we holidayed for the first three weeks. I don't even know how many weeks it is. Is it 10 weeks-ish? Throughout this couple of months, I have traveled with a carry-on suitcase and that's including bringing my light to coach my clients whether in the morning in the dark when it's the early hours of the morning or the night my microphone my laptop I've traveled with just a carry-on suitcase me back in 2016 would have been like nope I'm just not coming if I only got a carry-on I'm not <laughs> I'm not coming <laughs> but that's besides the point so this small suitcase that I stuffed to the brink has made it very obvious to me some of the challenges of growing, of going from good to great, or going from your past self into the future self that you want to be. So when we were in Paris, I found this scarf, <laughs> the scarf. <laughs> I fell in love with this scarf and I wasn't going around planning to shop or anything. It wasn't really a part of the, 
the holiday that we planned but I found this scarf after walking into this just beautiful store that captured my eye and I decided I wanted it so I bought the scarf and it yeah, the scarf was one thing it's just like a small scarf but then it came in this box and because I love the scarf so much I I wanted to keep the box as well the little house for my beautiful scarf <laughs> and with that box and my carry-on suitcase suddenly my items that I bring with me didn't all fit so my suitcase my carry-on suitcase represents my ideal capacity i took this suitcase just this size because it made me the most agile and easy enough to move around the world and there were less decisions to make as i went about this holiday that wasn't about material things it was about being able to easily explore and change places without any fuss and take opportunities as they come up so that suitcase was representing a sort of functional capacity i had a amount of luggage that was easy enough for me to show up that way on my holiday. The contents of that suitcase represents my old self. It's all the things that I love and valued from the past and still in the present love and value. However, I've decided to go and buy this scarf to bring this scarf into my life, this new item, because I decided I want this in my life. And in saying that, I've decided that it's worth another sacrifice in my life because I only have so much capacity. So I have two options here. I can either keep all my things, right? Put my scarf in my bag, take a few things out, create another bag and carry a bag on my shoulder and, and lug around my suitcase as I go about trying to enjoy my holiday exploring. But the price of that is now I'm adding extra stress to the rest of my time, having extra things to remember, extra things to carry. I'm making myself less agile, less adaptable, less mobile, probably more frustrated and probably more likely to not take up opportunities because I'm lugging so much stuff around and perhaps it's even making me more tired or less enthusiastic. So if I choose to keep everything from my past and my future, I'm still sacrificing something and we need to recognize that. Now, the other option is I could give something away from my suitcase. My suitcase that's at full capacity. If I want to put my new future self item in the suitcase, if I want to take the great with me, I need to give up something good from my current capacity from my luggage, from the things that I love that I brought with me from my past self, my other life. And at first I didn't want to. I sort of wanted to take that option where I just take everything with me. But that was a moment where I really need to get into my integrity and be honest with myself about what was important to me. So you can see how this is a great analogy for our lives in general. If we try and carry everything with us as we're trying to go to this next space and be this new person in our lives, we slow ourselves down by doing that. We think that we're being resourceful or smart or even reasonable by not leaving things behind or throwing things away or giving things away. But trying to take everything with you isn't A, always in your integrity when you look at your full set of values and B, might do the exact opposite of what you want, which is get in the way of you being able to be the person you wanna be and get there as quickly as possible when you're lugging around all of this extra luggage. So I wanna ask you in your life, where do you need to give up something good that you have in order to make room for something great? Where in your life right now are you holding on to something good because you're scared to go without it? And by doing that, you're not making room or recognizing that you could have space for something else, something that is great. Great in the sense, not that it's I don't know, more flashy, more expensive, more fabulous, but just more aligned with who you want to be in the future. And it doesn't mean that you've made the wrong decisions in the past. It doesn't mean that everything in that old set of luggage wasn't completely in your integrity. But the idea here is that you're growing. You're constantly on a journey. And the things that were genuinely right for you a year ago are probably not going to be genuinely right for you right now, let alone in another year from now. So do you wanna speed up the process to getting from good to great? Do you wanna speed up the process of getting closer to that 
future version of you that's more refined in terms of being in your integrity or are you happy to slow yourself down because you're afraid to let some things go what are you willing to give up for your future self all right my beautiful friends i hope you enjoyed this idea if you did let me know down below i always love to hear from you and if you know that this is the kind of work that you need in your life you know where to go put your name on my waitlist down below so you can be the first to hear about upcoming coaching opportunities whether it's for a free one-on-one -on -one consult or for when the doors open for my group coaching program you are not gonna want to miss this thank you guys so much for watching once again i can't wait to hear from you and see you in my next one